We are at the Aviation, Aviation Cornwall, Cornwall Aviation. 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 <laughs> God, that went though. Right. Cornwall <laughs> Aviation Heritage Centre. I'm reading the sign behind you. Just in case you didn't know, because we've got planes in front of us there. Yeah, These are the planes, some of the planes you can actually go in and sit in them. Some of them you can't. And the grandchildren loved it when they were here. <sighs> We'll show you this one and we'll let you know what it is in a minute when we get I round there. Oh, you swear, no? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just leave it. Oh, it's right over here. <laughs> Stand back. Stand back. See? A big one. I'm not getting anybody else. Right, and then we got this one. Whoops. What is this one? I think I know what I'm thinking. Yeah, it is a Hawker Hunter G A eleven. That was a Hawker Hunter G eleven. A eleven, sorry. There you go. This is a Royal Navy aircraft. Eight four oh. And it's the Ooh. It's a... Here we go. B.O. Hawk T1. And then it says, the Red Arrows used it. Black Thunder. Mm, now. I hope you heard that, guys. <laughs> it's a Panavia Tornado GR4. I'm okay if I can read it. <laughs> and this one is uh, another big one, biggish one. <laughs> and this is an English electric camera. That's one of the ones you can go inside. Am I looking? Right guys, Panavia Tornado ADF VF3. Sorry guys, I can't read. Looks like at once upon a time you could have gone in it, but unless they're just fixing it or I think that's there for maintenance. Uh, it's for maintenance purposes. So. This is a ZPU for anti-aircraft system. Show it to the guns, and we got one here. <laughs> Hearing creaking. <laughs> Who's that trip traveling over my bridge? Yeah, this is the um, Trolls Bridge, isn't it? Is it? Uh, what's the, is it what's the store? Yeah. yeah. Trolls, so we've got to be careful. There's a big airplane, I'll tell you what it is in a minute when I get over there. There's one of the ones that we could have gone in, but because of the COVID, we can't actually go in it. It's a bit of a shame, but I would love to have gone in that. And there's another one next to it as well. I think we could have gone in that one as well. But when they saw this COVID business over again, we will come back and take videos of it inside. He's a lovely guy. Yeah. And he's got more stories than Jack and Aubrey. <laughs> but if you want to know anything about these planes, he will tell you. Well, any of the volunteers are they're all Yeah, good. they're all they're all brilliant here, all the volunteers. Yeah, so all friendly, friendly so brilliant. helpful, so knowledgeable. Knowledgeable, definitely. 
I thought you were Mrs. Holly. Oh, Normally we could go in this one. We've actually been in it, but because of the COVID, I'm afraid it's all shut up at the moment. Covid is around still. It's a bit of a pain in the bum. Big wings. Is it Vickers Varsity? Yeah. Sorry, that sounds really yeah, funny to me. Here we go. It's a Vickers Varsity. It's a T Mark One. We went in this one today, the other day. It was used for uh, pilot training, navigator training, training even. <laughs> And for ordnance training. It's a massive aeroplane. And there's so much inside to look at. Loads of switches and buttons and everything, you know, monitors and things like that. It is amazing. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's quite exciting actually. Now we're going in the hangar. And the first one is a Hawker Seahawk FPA 6. Oh. I hope you all got that. I doubt it. Oh, it's this way, please. I didn't realise that. It's another one you could sit in. It's got a bee on the front. Was it a fly? It's a bee. Folding wings. They fold under the aeroplanes. Coming up the stairs. There's no one in it. It's weird. That's inside. A member of the Royal Observer Corps for 30 years and luckily the Cornish Aviation Society very kindly donated to the Cornwall Aviation Heritage Centre by his widow Pauline. Oh. Was born in Hyerford and met Pauline when they both worked for the St. Colin Road Co-op. So subsequently lived in St. Dennis. And there's just right, one or two. down here is loads of models. I won't show you every single one, but loads of models. Of, all donated by his wife. All donated by his wife, that we just said. There are hundreds and hundreds. The best one is out here somewhere. It's an eyes to fly. Yeah, Number 111. The chipmunk. Well, a monkey did drive it, so. Or, or fly it. <sighs> Bigger ones here. Loads of information, loads of pictures. Even I found out things I didn't know about. Yeah. It's an engine. It's a de Havilland. It's a de Havilland driver junior. There's the another engine. Thing. And there's another engine. More models and things. Ah, this is quite interesting. Oh, yeah. Well, then. Yeah. Well, it's basically the top one is the Wright Brothers aircraft from uh, 1903. The first flight was on December the 17th at Kitty Hawk, and its speed then was 30 miles an hour. However, its wingspan was 40 feet and 4 inches. The one below is the F-18, with the first flight was 2006. Uh, that speed had gone up slightly to 1,200 miles an hour. However, it got the same wingspan, 40 foot and 4 inches. Just a random fact. Do you mind us being? Am I on video? Huh? It's only YouTube. Oh, okay, yeah. So these are engines from a Tornado F3. So the F3 is out there on the left. So these engines would cost, like, bring out about 22,000 pounds of thrust without afterburner, about £35,000 of thrust with afterburner. So afterburner, the flame would end up being about further than that side. These things here are called petals. So when they go for afterburner, these will come out flush with this. If you look down there, it's still got parts of the afterburner in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, that's just black. <laughs> so when this goes into reverse thrust, these two clamshell shape, one on the top, one on the bottom. These will come out into a shape like that. So they basically go into basically full throttle and the gases will go up. When the air mixes with those gases, it basically slows it down a lot faster. So that's why on a lot of tornadoes they have a massive black 
stayed going up the tail. That's it, yeah. So these engines are actually identical, mm. just facing the different ways. But, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's lovely. You're going to fly? <laughs> oh, I think he's going in the uh, simulator. A man in a suit. In the flight simulator behind you. Which yeah, flight take, simulator. I think he's taken off. He has. Yes. I'm only taking it on there for now. I'm just. Alright. I'm going to loop it now. Go on then. Where are you flying over? Where are you flying over? Yeah, there's a jet. It's a jet efflux chamber. It's a jet efflux chamber. Hmm. Aircraft could be started up in the hardened aircraft shelter. The jet blast or e flux would be directed to the outside safely. Just imagine the noise on there. And then obviously to go down there and then I don't know if it shows up in the video. No, just I'll take that forward. And it's the same on the other side, but I can't get round that way, I'm afraid. There's parachute on the wall, just in case you need it. And some pictures. <laughs> oh, these are all the holiday aeroplanes. Pan Air, Air Belgium, One World. You know me, I'm useless. Holka Hurricane in there, Blackbird, the Buccaneer, West, you know, all sorts. Licorice, all sorts. This is the prototype in England. This, I know. This was a, a private collector who bought this. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to show these photos here. This is how he bought it. He found it for scrap. And it took him years to actually rebuild it with all the original parts we managed to source. Apart from, he couldn't find this seat here on the right. Oh no, yeah. Um, right, this seat on the right, I'll just show you that now. That's not the original That's the, seat. not the original, but the other all three the are. Components. All the original equipment we managed to source second hand eBay or all over the world, whatever, to rebuild this. So many clock so things, so many switches. You still be doing? I don't know. Excuse me if it's bad. Video in, I'm going up the stairs. <sighs> four controls, four engines. Those controls. Four engines, if you didn't hear what you said. And four sets of each control. Look at that. Tornado IAMT. It's an integrated avionics maintenance trainer. Oh, they train, they can, yes. This is, it's a mock up cockpit, but they can create ports on it. And then in this bay here, oops, is where will be? Are all the different modules. Mm. So the technicians will learn which modules to replace the different faults. Um, loads of them. Identical. Hmm. Uh, this oh, one is a uh, Haviland Venom. 
I'm gonna go up the stairs. My gosh, this is small. Mind you, it's only for one person. Look at that, the best I can do without falling in. We'll let you know this what this one is. Is it Hawker Sidley Harrier? You are free. I've been doing this one as well, I didn't realise. This one says, this is about 69, the GR3 Harrier. It's taken me out for 69. All the planes up yeah. here. Everything that's in here, they get new stuff every every so often. Hate like this one. What's that one? Nice cafe. I'm not taking a picture of you, don't worry. All the nice homemade cakes, chocolates, pasties, sausage rolls, coffee, crisps, ice cream. And this is the shop with all loads of nice things. T-shirts, sweatshirts, books. Models. Wow, do that one. 